I always have to think about my 30 year old son and I imagine that he gets early cancer due to a contamination with microplastic particles and he could suffer a long life of the result of this. So we need to get evidence. My name is Lukas Kenner. I'm a pathologist at the Medical University of Vienna. I'm a cancer researcher and we make animal models and uh, also investigate human tissues with cancer. One major topic of my lab is to investigate if plastics can lead to cancer or are part of cancerogenesis or dissemination of tumors in the body. Cancer is a malignant disease, that means that it can destroy the body. It leads to death if you don't cure it, if you don't treat it. We know now that cancer is a genetic disease, so there are mutations happening in the cells which then become tumor cells, and these produce proteins which basically lead to uh, malignancy. Therefore, we operate the patients, we treat the patients with rather aggressive substances to stop the tumor growth and to help the patient to survive. What we observed and published is that plastic particles are taken up by cancer cells and even after cell division stay in the cancer cells. A colleague here from the hospital found microplastic in the human stool and uh, I was immediately shocked. I thought if it is in our stool maybe I find it also in the tissue of just normal individuals or of our colon cancer patients. And from that idea I tried to find colleagues who could help me to detect plastic in tissue. And that's where I come in. My name is Verena Pichler. I'm an assistant professor currently at the University of Vienna. And I was actually coming to this project because we needed somebody who can lighten up the plastic in certain bodies in order to follow them and to see where the plastic is going and where it actually ends up. With Verena's help, we can tag plastic particles to visualize them in the human body and then see where they go. The smaller the particle is, the more easier it's actually uptaken into the cell. It is from the size similar to the proteins we have in our blood. And then the cell thinks, okay, this is important, I have to take it up to get my nutrients. But actually it's not, it's just plastic. Particles are all around, we take them up in quite some numbers. The publication we just recently came out, we could show that uh, the particles lead to uh, basically stay in the tumor cells even after cell division. Um, they are distributed among the daughter cells and we also could find out that uh, um, the tumor cells uh, grow quicker, so they migrate as we say and therefore we have to assume that it could lead to a quicker metastasis. And as soon as these cells, including the particles, come into the bloodstream, they can wander around the human body and just like make new small tumors in the overall body. It is, it is quite shocking because we know already that they are taken up, but we never have seen before that they are migrating faster with that. Almost at the same day when we published our paper, an Italian group showed that there was a correlation of microplastic accumulation with bad prognosis in patients with brain and heart insults. If plastics are playing a part in this early onset cancerogenesis, then the worst is to come because we know that plastic production goes up and also the decay of the plastic into smaller and smaller particles is going on while we speak. And we know that the microplastic particles can enter into the embryo through the placental barrier. So this is basically then an avalanche of microplastics or nanoplastics coming towards us. And of course, the unborn child 
is the one to take the biggest load of those plastic particles. I'm really afraid of the fact that plastic particles could lead to early onset cancer and that the accumulation of plastic in the world and in our ecosystems can lead to more and more cancer formation in earlier uh, years of, of people's lives. And that would be basically a disaster. Yeah, this scares me and this is also I hope it also scares other people because we need to investigate in more detail and look also in human tissues, which we have, you know, in our department and in all the departments over the world, which are basically keeping the tissue of the patients to see whether these plastic particles are correlating with a bad prognostic. This is basically what um, really drives me in this project. It's important that, that, that one grasp, you know, what, what, what it could mean. If it's really true, you know, we, we need that evidence. Yeah. How many people in, in the world could suffer from that? Possibly. I urge governments and companies to finance our research and the research on plastic particles if it leads to cancer or other diseases and to possibly prevent them doing this. <laughs>